Water pollution is also uh, an issue, and each one of us in this room is 65% water by weight. We all enjoy an exquisite communion, not only with the atmosphere, but with the water cycle as well. We know that there are many documented cases of surface and groundwater contamination with compounds associated with gas extraction, including the carcinogen benzene. But because hydraulic fracturing has been granted the environmental equivalent of diplomatic immunity, enjoying special exemptions from our federal statutes, it's difficult for those of us in the research community to quantify what the public health effects are. We lack knowledge about the behavior of groundwater, and we also lack knowledge about the uh, trade, because of trade secrets, we don't know what chemicals to test for. We do know uh, from a study released earlier this month that drinking water wells near gas extraction sites in Pennsylvania and New York have, on average, 17 times higher methane levels than uh, wells located outside the gas patch. We don't know uh, what the health effects of drinking and inhaling methane are for pregnant women, for children, or, or for anyone. Not because we've done the studies and there was no evidence for harm, but because we've never done the studies. We do know that when you chlorinate water that contains carbon-based contaminants, you create disinfection byproducts called trihalomethanes. One example is chloroform. Um, and these, in fact, are carcinogens linked to both bladder and colon cancers. Can methane serve as a raw material for the creation of trihalomethanes? To my knowledge, we in the scientific community don't yet have an answer to that question. Shouldn't we answer it before we proceed with hydrofracking? So I brought with me here a jar of water from my kitchen tap in the village of Trumansburg. And this water comes from a municipal well sunk into a groundwater aquifer near Cayuga Lake. Every day I pour this water into glasses and hand them to my children and they take a drink before they get on the bus. And every day this water becomes their blood plasma. It becomes their tears. It becomes their cerebral spinal fluid that surrounds their brain. And according to the annual drinking water quality report for this water uh, in my village, it contains some trihalomethanes from the chlorination product process, and it also contains nitrates, which are probably a result of all the farming we do um, near uh, the well. Um, and, and their presence in this jar all by itself is not a call for alarm. It's all within the legal limits. But it is a sign that our municipal water, as so much water in New York, comes from an unconfined aquifer that's vulnerable to chemical contamination. Already, this water has fertilizer in it. It's, and the, the, it, the presence of this fertilizer shows us that there exist hidden connections between the surface of the earth and the watery vaults of groundwater deep beneath our feet. What would happen to this water if the fields that surround my village many of which are already leased to the gas industry, become a staging ground for fossil fuel extraction. In Tompkins County, where I live, 40% of all land acreage is leased to the gas drillers. This is not a hydrological experiment I am interested in running.